Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. It was the river that is said to have watered the biblical garden of Eden and helped give birth to civilization itself. But today the Tigris is dying. Revelation 16.12 speaks of the drying up of the great river Euphrates to prepare the way for the kings of the east. These verses take place at the battle of Armageddon that will be waged in the future by spiritual Babylon. In order to understand this prophecy, we must look back to the parallel experience of ancient Babylon. 600 years before Christ, pagan Babylon made war against God's people. For 70 years, they held Israel in subjection. Finally, Babylon was overcome by Cyrus the Mede and the Israelites were freed. Cyrus came from the east and captured Babylon by diverting the Euphrates River and getting access under the water gates of the channel. God said to Babylon, I will dry up thy rivers. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, to open before him the two leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. God raised up the righteous man Cyrus from the east. The literal account in the Old Testament will be applied in a spiritual sense at the end time. Thus we find in the book of Revelation that spiritual Israel or the church will get oppressed by Babylon the Great. This Babylon is not a physical kingdom but a false religious system controlled by Satan. At the end, God's people will get freed from the power of spiritual Babylon by the drying up of the waters of the river Euphrates. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowel on the great river Euphrates and its water was dried up, so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. We have to keep in mind that the immediate fulfillment of Bible prophecy is always literal and local. But the last day fulfillment has a spiritual application only, so we should not expect a literal Cyrus to dry up the literal river to deliver the Israel. What does the water represent in Bible prophecy? The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are people, multitudes, nations and tongues. The Bible explains that waters represents people and nation who gives support to the great Babylon harlot that persecutes the true saints. So the drawing up of waters would mean that the drawing of support by those people who had been followers of the Babylon system. The people realize they have been deceived and in anger they turn on each other. John also wrote that these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall heat her flesh and burn her with fire. This drawing up of support prepares the way for the kings of the east or the father and the son at the second coming to deliver the saints from the hands of the Babylon. Thanks for watching. If you like to see more content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe.